Here comes Kaplan America on the 97 XL12. October 13th and 14th, Rocktoberfest. Down here at the New England Motorcycle Museum, it's a grand opening event. Battle of the Bands in the largest antique motorcycle show. Captain America's got his new outfit on too, buddy. So it's about to get real. You know when I break out the helmet, it's time to send it. Ha ha! I'm gonna jump my BMX bike <laughs> over four motorcycles. Gonna send it. Oh. What a lot of fun this is. It's hard not to feel like you're riding onto the set of the Sons of Anarchy, ready to take on the Mayans when you get on this badass ride. This is just, this is a real deal. I just got off an 883, a bone stock 883, and this is an example of what you can do with a Harley Davidson to make it perform. What a badass machine. Uh, local rider uh, bought this to us. He, he, this was his dad's bike. His dad bought it in 97, brand new, and owned it since then, and he bought it from his dad, and the thing's been babied since it was brand new. The engine is like a like a showpiece. It's absol absolutely gorgeous. And he's put some really nice Arlen Ness styled accessories on there. Uh, the Harley Davidson uh, Screaming Eagle uh, open air style intake with the Arlen Ness style twin drag pipes, which are up nice and high so it handles beautifully. I'm six foot two, so the forward controls are awesome for me. Uh, it gives me a little bit extra freedom to stretch out and uh, stretch my legs where, uh, I don't know if you remember the 883 video we just did, but I'm a little cramped on the, on the mid controls. And the bars have a six inch riser on it. So ergonomic wise, this thing's set up beautifully for me. And wow, what a lot of fun it is to ride. This is the 97 model. Again, this is the rigid mount, 2003. They went to the rubber mount. When they went to the rubber mount, if you talk to the guys from SNS, this is the bike to buy if you want a performance Harley Davidson, 50 pounds lighter than the rubber mounted Sportster. Yeah, it vibrates a little bit more, but uh, you know, if you're if you're a if you're a performance rider, this is one and a half. 50 pounds is huge. And the direct drive mount from the engine and transmission right to the frame, there's no flex and it just performs beautifully. It handles like a dream. This has been upgraded substantially with a, a new set of Michelin. These are the Commander 2s. Kenny, get up close here on these tires here because they're they're beautiful. These are the Michelin Commander 2s and when the when the uh, rim was off it was thoroughly polished with the quadruple zero steel wool the hub and spokes were painted black and uh, it's just absolutely beautiful it's been customized with the lowers painted black the spokes are painted black the hub was painted black to match the original factory paint the paint's beautiful on the bike this has a long travel 39 millimeter forks so there's very little flex that's the highest performance forks that they had on, on, on the sports it's got the long travel rear shocks if you can compare these to the hugger, this bike's gonna sit about two and a half, three inches higher than a hugger, but that brings the frame up higher. And look at the bottom of the frame rails, Kenny. Look at the way the frame rail is perfectly flat to the road when I set this up straight. If you um, talk to Eric Buell or any high performance Harley Sportster guys like uh, that are into, into these bikes, the frame rail's gotta be flat to get it to handle right. That means that you need the longer travel rear shocks and the long travel forks balanced perfectly. Look at the rear, rear tire, Kenny, come here. Look at this. This is look look at this up close here. Can you see, will the camera pick this up? The sidewall. Oh yeah. Get a close up of that if you could please. Um, this is the Commander 2 Michelin. This is a large. It's a 13090 B16, a little bit bigger than the one you'd find on an 883. And look at the tread pattern on the back. On the sidewall is beautiful, but look at the tread pattern on this thing. This thing will hook up like crazy. This is a, about a $600 set of tires, fresh set of tires. It's got a $600 custom exhaust, custom intake, risers. It has a um, awesome, you know, I'm not a, a backrest guy. Uh, the first thing I do when I, when I see a bike that comes in with a backrest is I rip it off and throw it in, in, the, in the pile of, like I'm not kidding you, down in a detail shop in the hallway, there's a pile of these things there because I think, I think backrests suck, but, I, but the style more than anything. But this one I like, which is, I'm gonna say it's one of the first. I don't know if it's the way the bar comes up and, and tilts back or the high backrest, it just has an easy rider style look to it. It has an outlaw style look to it. it just looks badass with the, um, it's got the, uh, and, and usually I don't like bags either, but this one's got a bag on the back that kind of fills the gap in the middle here um, and covers up a couple of uh, scrapes that were on the fender from the previous bag. So, um, you know, it's there for one, for style, but also for, for uh, functionality. You can, you can stash your gloves in there or a, 
um, your night riders or your registration or whatever. So this has a Harley Davidson gunfighter salad, S salad, <laughs> gunfighter seat. Uh, it says Sportster on the side. As you can see, this is a gunfighter saddle. The gunfighter salad pushes your butt back a couple inches more. Being six foot two for me, that's a big deal because Sportsters are a little bit smaller than the big twins. So it gives me a little extra room and the risers raise the bars up about four inches. So if you put your hands up in there and drop them down and close your eyes, they're about in about the perfect spot. These are the Harley Davidson. I'll go in real close on this so you can get the logo. Harley Davidson branded uh, burl grips. They give you a much better grip then, then it's almost like something you see in a weight room, you know, on a, on a, on a bar, on a um, weightlifting bar, they're knurled exactly like that. So your hands aren't gonna slide off when, you, when the front end comes up when you're, because it's got so much horsepower. This will ride wheelies easily, very easily. First, second, and third gear. My big brother, Ray, Ray Kaplan, who you haven't seen on the videos here because he doesn't work here yet, or uh, he's not around that much, he's doing his own thing, but he has a 94 Sportster 1200, three years younger than this. We bought it with the, the money my dad passed away and um at 59 years old i'm 53 my dad died young for uh which is a real shame because he was one of my best friends but uh we got ten thousand dollars from the estate after he passed away that's all it was left after paying everything off so i said to ray i said i'll give you my half of the estate if you use the money to buy a sportster and just keep it and ride it so we <laughs> he didn't have a harley and i did so he went out and bought a 94 sportster 1200 same model as this and i'm telling you straight up he's an expert level motocross rider he, you know he can ride a bike on that 1200 sportster he surprises a lot of sport bike riders on back roads these things handle good and if you can ride they're fast so uh kenny jr had a, a sportster a 2003 same style as this same engine this is a 1200 he put a 1250 big bore kit on it pipes and a few other mods and he pulled an 11.97 in the quarter at 100.5 miles an hour uh, at the Orlando Speed World. So are they fast? Yes. Are they fun? Yes. They're American made and they're badass. So if you want to buy a new Sportster like this and drop a stage two kit on, on the engine like this in a backrest and forward controls and bars and everything else, you're going to drop $15,000 because a, a, a 1200 Sportster is around 12 grand. And by the time you put the sticky tires on it, the backrest, the seat, the carb, the, I mean the uh, performance intake, the exhaust, you're going to drop 15 G. The taxes, the property tax is going to be way higher because it, it's so much more money. The insurance and the sales tax alone, you're going to drop about a grand in sales tax on a new one. Buy this bike and know you're getting a, a, a Harley Davidson that is proven. It was owned by the same family and it's set up beautifully and it hauls ass. It's an awesome bike. Ship it anywhere in the country for about $500. We can ship it anywhere on the East Coast for about $300 or so, a little give or take, depending on where we are. Call for a quote, 860 454 702 or 24. If you buy the bike, you'll get a free ticket to the October 13th, 14th, two-day battle of the bands we're having here. It's coming up in three weeks. You're also going to, uh, it's an all-access all pass to visit the Motorcycle Museum, the new building we have here. You're also going to have the, uh, um, uh, see, witness the mini bike racing and mini bike trace, mini bike and mini trike racing in the Thunderdome and five bands per day and we're having a big party at my farm saturday night so if you buy the bike pick it up that weekend and ride off in the sunset uh it's a badass ride i wouldn't hesitate to ride this to california tomorrow uh or florida or wherever you want to go uh we can ship it for you if you want but rest assured this is one badass sporty Ke kenny is there anything you'd like to add because i know you had one very similar to this and, and kenny's 19 years old so the younger generation digs these too so go ahead wish i never sold mine uh in this this reminds me of mine actually it's it's very uh drag bike-esque and uh the drag pipes on here just the backlash is intoxicating and uh it turns heads for sure so uh good luck bidding guys and uh god bless america we're gonna go eat a salad because that's all ken can think about he's super hungry so <laughs> yeah i had to, eat, had to eat my lunch so god bless america and uh enjoy this this is the this is as american as apple pie and chevrolet Harley Davidson Sportster, it doesn't get any better than this, so good luck and God bless.
motorcycles. Newer used, big or small, we buy them all. One to 1,000. Any make, model, or condition, give us a call. It's cool. So anyway, I'm in the neighborhood. I'm going like shit. I'm having a, I'm having a beer and a sandwich at Ryan's. I said, shit, I think this place is like right around the corner yeah, from here. Yeah, and I just Googled it up. Here, yeah. So that's why I called. I don't know. Who did I talk to? You or? Yeah, man. It was fantastic. We're, we're having, I, I took a quick run up and down. We're having a big party here. I got the, I got the brochure, baby. Yeah, five, ten bands, uh, five per day. <laughs> and every, the format is an hour of band. And it's all rock and roll. And then half an hour of Harley Davidson stunt riders. And then we have a mini bike track and mini trike racing. And then the museum will be vendors, uh, bikes, babes, bands. Oh, it's going to be gonna insane. Be, Are you be kidding? Be you'll bring them from New York. You'll bring them from Boston, everyone, right? We have models coming from everyone. My daughter's a model. We're, oh, we're actually, man. We have a 52 acre farm about three miles up the road, and we're having a big. Uh, uh, it's a call day. Uh, we're an ambassador site, ambassador site for the Antique Motorcycle Club of America. I'm sure. We're, we're doing a camp out there with a bunch of, uh, bunch of bikes and. and uh, People from all the country. So is it, is you better bring in the security, baby. It's going to be <laughs> yeah. wild. Yeah, we have, we have yeah, we I was up at Owl's Head a couple weeks ago. They had the antique bike show up there, yeah. and I got a chance to look at some other stuff. Yeah, yeah, just taking pictures of the stuff because I, you know, I'm, I'm good with tools, but I haven't worked on my uh, be bikes. There'll be a lot of vintage bikes here, Hondas, Harleys. Yeah, right yeah. Between, my first know? my first bike was a CT70, and I can't believe the stupid money they get for those yeah, little they're, things. They're now. Items, not they are something. That's for sure. No looking down at the tank, it's right there. So when you're riding fast and you're tucked in, you know what's going on. But don't get no better than this. Like my old man used to say, if you're not happy right now riding this thing, you'll never be happy. 